The inaugural Enga Development Forum was hosted at the Amapiaka Highlands International School in the Wapinamanda district. The speaker opened the forum and gave the keynote address. Mr. Zurenwok urged Engan professionals that the forum was timely for them to give back to their province. He said the province in the country is at the crossroads and it is important that such groups take the bold step to unite and take the lead to educate the remote population on change and development. It was his speech on the parliament cleansing exercise that wowed the crowd. The speaker said despite the numerous accusations and allegations against his actions, the cleansing exercise will continue this year. He said the carvings that were removed from the Parliament House under his orders did not fairly represent cultures of all provinces in Papua New Guinea. He said the carvings did not determine our cultural survival as a sovereign nation. Mr. Zorenwok said in the year 2014, he will be inviting each province to nominate a culturally significant item representative of the province to be placed in Parliament as replacement for the 19 removed. Enga Governor Peter Ipatas backed the Speaker, saying the exercise was reasonable. Mr. Ipatas said certain artifacts removed really did not represent the 800-plus language groups of Papua New Guinea. One of opposition's former strongmen, Kundiawa Gembog MP Tobias Kulang, back the speaker as well, saying the exercise signified development and the present status of the country. He said some of the artifacts had to be replaced, including their meaning. The speaker later visited the provincial museum at Wabek town. He was impressed with the beauty and architecture of the building and the valuables in it. He will be selecting a carving itch from the 22 provinces and display them in the house. Benedict Effie, National MTV News.